Actually, to that, I tell you what, it's been an education sitting in that dressing room. Has it really? In what way? Yeah, I, I mean, pancakes don't make you gay. <laughs> Depends what you put on them. All looks, oh, is that right? All those gay men, I thought that's why they spent all that time in the gym, kind of working off the pancakes. Well, maybe you know something I don't. I don't know. I'm going to have to check into it. No, I that. had pancakes Did yesterday. Did you see I was the dress? Wearing. Did you see the uh, colorful dress with it? Looks like my tie, which I'm now wearing a horrible tie for no reason. That's a tie? Well, it looks more like did you, lingerie. Did your mother make that? It does. <laughs> no, my mother oh, did do, not. Do you have that. matching underwear on? <laughs> <laughs> Doug, but it's okay. I wish I'd thought of that, but yeah. no, I am not. Did you did you see this thing? And then you know what I'm talking about? I I do oh, know what you're talking yeah. about. Did you see it as white and gold? It's or? a mate. We're on television. <laughs> <laughs> It's so you weird. Know, it's weird that you say that because when I was watching that clip, I was thinking about you and I was thinking this woman, Ashley S., who's on The Bachelor, would be a fun character for you to play. I know. All that dialogue. She? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's a genius. Have you been here since the Oscars? The Oscars were, uh, what, seven, eight days ago, I guess. The last time it rained in Los Angeles. Yeah, yes, the yeah. last. Yeah. yeah. No, I have. I, um, I can't remember. I, fl I think I. I can't remember. <laughs> Early onset dementia. Wow, really? Do I know you? <laughs> you fly. Um, you must fly all the time, so it. Uh, uh, I try and fly as little as possible. It's usually pretty uneventful. Well, actually, this is super, super boring. But mum, I, my ears popped the other day on the plane, which was quite exciting for me. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Doesn't that happen My every life time? Is so exciting! <laughs> no, but it was—it was the first time in 19 years. So, but then I could finally—I I can hear you. <laughs> no, I, it was very—it was a major, major. Your ears major... popped for the first time in night. Why do you remember that it was 19 years ago? <laughs> No, I was in a stage play. I played Miranda in The Tempest, and I had to put my head into this rusty bucket night after night, and I traced it back, and that's the, the last time I heard anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I... Do you really want to know this? No. He, listen, there's no one Are you going to get hate mail about this if you Probably, kind of yes. Diagnose but there's me? no one more interested in, in the ear-related subjects than me. I'm like, I mean, I'm. Uh, you don't even want to. What, what know. is that? I, do, I, have you ever done the ear candle? Yes, I have. <gasps> could we do it now? We could, but I have a terrible. I'd love I have to ear candle you. For you because oh, you've, you've already done it. It's it, it when it happens, and if you've seen this, it's covered with beeswax. It's, it's so tube, much fun. And it's one, but I hate to be Four the one play. to it's ruin really it for you. <laughs> I feel exactly the same way. I don't think I've ever been as excited as I was the first right now. Time my ear candle, <laughs> but, but oh no. If you put it in a glass that's completely empty you'll see the same result. So it's not earwax, it's the beeswax melting. And those who've done so it that's would know. That's, that's fraudulent. Yeah, it's a fraud. That's why I'm here, I'm a truth seeker. Oh, it's... <laughs> okay. <laughs> here I was for years, for 19 years, thinking that that's what the problem so was. So you damaged but... your hearing in a bucket, and then now it's a back. A rusty bucket. Now I must have got this terrible ear infection. And then it, do you really want to know Yes, this? I it do. It involves mucus. Guillermo, go get my instruments. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, fun. I'll come back. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Stay there. No, and I, and I had my sinuses operated on a couple of years ago because I had this terrible post-nasal drip, doctor. Uh -huh. Okay, yes. Tell and, me um, more. Can I lie down? And then um, I was on stage. It was really, really bad. And, then, you know, you know post-nasal drip, it drips down. And but then I had to do this 20-minute monologue. And, my, I mean, I had to blow my nose. I hid tissues. For years, I've been playing characters on stage who all had sinus infections. They had, you know, <laughs> who had tissue. Sometimes it would be a tissue, some a Kleenex, sometimes it would be a, a handkerchief. And I would hide them, literally, in flower vases and upstage. But this, I was in this sort of postmodern production and there was there's no sets. And I was behind a flat and the, I swear to God, I had a 20-minute monologue and I thought, what do I do? I, I'm, I might, is this gonna drip for 20 minutes? Like, I mean, really humiliating in front of 900 people with two big blobs of mucus doing this <laughs> for 20 minutes. I mean, they wouldn't have listened to a word I said. <laughs> so I had a trench coat. And so I just blew my nose into the trench coat. But if you've ever blown your nose, you know something? It just doesn't stop. And I had, I had, to, get, I had to get back on. I kept blowing and blowing and blowing. And the, the wardrobe mistress, the poor wardrobe mistress, didn't speak to me for a couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a shocker. And then, wow. But then when my ears popped... I'm, I mean, this post-nasal drip stopped after the sinus operation. That was great. 
but then my ears popped and I can hear. You, so you feel now like you have some and I'm kind of really interesting. Super hearing and you <laughs> yeah. can hear things. Yeah, yeah. Wow, I can hear things. That's a crazy thing. Yeah. Have you noticed differences in your life? What? I mean, like, <laughs> you go like, wow, I got the TV on really loud. Or... I've been able to turn everything, dial everything down. Have you really? Wow. Yeah. But yeah. can I ask, why are you so interested in ears? Uh, you have to ask that of my psychiatrist and my father, who's also interested in ear. You know, I... I... Oh, so it's hereditary. Yeah, it's a cute... There's a lot of Q-tipping that goes on. My father and I will sometimes will exchange photographs. <laughs> Never blew my nose in a trench coat, though. <laughs>